Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to cut the soap I made. I'm really happy with it so far. Went through a nice gel phase. You can always tell by the smooth, shiny, slick sides. Really happy with it, and I'm happy with the top. Really pleased with this one. So this is the one where you do your traditional cut, and then you turn it on the side and do another cut. So you could, this is what you'll see in your soap bar. So I've gone ahead and pre-scored this. So I'm gonna make this into five sizable chunks and then turn it on the side and do the regular cut to get my regular size of soap. So you're seeing it with me for the first time. It popped out of the mold easily this morning because it went through that hot gel phase, but I've been let it's been sitting out all day. And we got some glycerin rivers inside and the tit titanium dioxide. I did not do a water discount. So it's already not gonna be quite what I was expecting soap itself performed beautifully. The batter just did great. So we'll see. So, that's my first cut. And it's not bad by any means in the inside. It's nice. Very unique. But it's not what I want. So, I should have set my wire cutter up first, and I forgot. Let's get this set up. And these, these are the three with the leftover batter that I poured into my muffin mold. So those are going to make three nice soaps. These are still a little bit soft. These didn't go through gel phase because they were, you know, indiv these individual cups and it set out. I did not wrap it. So these are still a little bit soft because they didn't gel. All right, so. Here we are, you know, the traditional cut, but we're going to turn it on the side and cut it this way, and this is where the real magic generally happens. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. The glycerin rivers may only be really in the dead center. Because this bar has none. I just, I love that swirl pattern. As well as this color combination. And I'm going to get um, 20 bars of soap. Each of these blocks will get me four bars of soap. And if you watch me, you know they're small, they're thin, I agree. Um, this is not a hobby. And this, excuse me, this is not a business. This is a hobby. So I will be giving these away. That's why, and I do a batch every week. And that's why they're small. Because I want to have enough to give to everybody. And they get a bar every week. So a small, thin bar is quite ample. And next week, they'll be able to get a different bar different scent, different pattern. But so far, I'm super happy with this. Now this one has a little bit of glycerin river in it. Let's see what the cut bar looks like. I can see it. Yeah, it's in it, but it certainly hasn't ruined it.
see some glycerin in that one. Here's the final block. I will set the cutter out of the way so I can show you the whole picture here. So overall, even with some glycerin rivers, it's very minimal. I'm really happy with this. You know, I have those three, which I'll be giving out, but overall, that is a very nice looking soap, and I love that infinity swirl. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye.